from near Bewley in Worcestershire, Atomic 2. A sleek design with a compact aerodynamic shell, a flipper and lethal 24-inch concealed 1,000 psi pneumatic spike. Atomic can drop a bomb or two here. From Abador, Fighting Talk. A modification of small torque and all torque from the past has a spinning disc, is the lightest but quickest here. Now that is fighting torque. From Ancient Winnie, Oxford and Bristol, Mousetrap. A large replica of a spring mousetrap semi-finalist in Series 4 of Robot Wars at 8 miles an hour. The slowest in this mayhem, 24-volt dry cell battery-powered. Not a dry eye in the house if this one loses. Roboteers, stand by. This is Mousetrap with Stan Launchbury and Jason, his son there, in the control booth. Fighting talk from Abador in Scotland, Richie McBride at the controls with the moustache. And Atomic with Stephen Bebb, Paul Francis and David Bebb. As you saw, killer lots in the arena with the jaws of life, as used by the rescue services to cut people out of smashes. Here used two smash and he fought a friend. Dead metal, underrated I feel by some, not undervalued by us. It'll get you under the belt. Three, two, one. We're looking at it, fighting talk. Is a brave heart to go in there against these two, Atomic and Mousetrap. Dodge that mighty Mousetrap spring weapon and you've got a chance, and Atomic with the forklift thrusters looks the most lethal here. It has that spike concealed as well, but this is the forklift and it's immediately spun and tossed Mousetrap up and over and goes in for another attack there as well. Very good stuff, and now the assault on fighting talk, which is immediately sent crumpling to the ground. You can see up underneath the kilts there as well, and it was none too pleasant. Ah, the cheek of it all! And that has dispelled the myth as to what robots have up underneath those kilts. A mousetrap behind Atomic, but Atomic doing all the work here. Mousetrap again thrown in the arena centre. They'll use the, uh, the great springing trap to self-right if they can. I don't think they can. Fighting talk is stayed out of trouble. The RevBot having a glance, don't forget. The clock can count robots out. Ah, there's the spike! I wanted to see that atomic spike come out. It's 24 inches long at 1,000 PSI. That's an amazing weapon. An atomic could cause some real damage later on in the Extreme Series. This is Mousetrap. I'll have to be going to the kids race again. Oh, that's great fun. Fighting talk. They're still in there fighting. Mousetrap have gone. And splendid stuff here by Richie McBride and young Alex, his son, who operates the weapons on occasions. Dad's doing it all in there now. Just saw a glance at the ref bot. We're seeing, of course, Atomic pushing fighting talk to one side. I think, oh, <laughs> Okay, Jimmy. What's happened there? And away he goes. Over and for I think fighting talk, not the high road but the low road to oblivion. We know Mousetrap's already out. Oh, and what on earth was Atomic doing getting in there? Mousetrap on the floor, flipper, but Atomic very nearly got themselves stuck in underneath. Look at this, we're waiting for the flipper to get into action, and then Atomic got themselves in trouble. And that doesn't suggest good driving by David Bev, the 16 year old there. Now Strap is too late to spring shut. Shutting the spring door while the uh, mice have bolted or something like that and attacking bolts and nuts and just about everything else. Dead metal. A slice is nice. Two will do. Mousetrap onto the side of the arena and fighting talk in trouble as well. Counted out the red card. The kilt is shorn. Dead metal carving into Mousetrap. And we know that Atomic here has won this mayhem and goes through to the second of our Annihilators. Oh, Hilter, Skilter, they're all a kilter. Fighting talk. Ah, landed on their feet. Or wheels. 
In comes Atomic. We know that Fighting Talk already out of it. Sprung up into the air. Bit of a Highland spring there down again and off and underway with a Highland fling. Flung. Down they come. In comes Killalot. Away goes Fighting Talk. They're on their side. The kilt's about to be set on fire, I think. Oh, what a sad end. Cease. The fighting talk.